Hi everyone, welcome to another Nathan's 3D Factory video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to model an object using Notepad. So, why am I doing this? Well, more than anything, just to show you that I can. So, um, so let's get started with this, and we're going to have some fun, okay? So, first thing that we want to do is that we're going to uh, define the vertices. Now, in this file, I'm going to do this so that it's going to output as an OBJ file. Now, to do OBJ, what you do is that you start out with your vertices, V, and I'm going to do this at a coordinate that has three coordinates, okay? So your three coordinates are going to be your X, your Y, and your Z. So following the Vs, you're going to do that. Negative 1, negative 1, 0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to model an obelisk. So that's my first vertex. And then I'm going to do V, 1, negative 1, 0. V, 1, 1, 0. I'll keep doing these until I get a square. There we go. All right, so that is going to form the base of our object. Now, I'm going to go to the next level, and I'm going to put them up at 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the negative 1, negative 1, 10, do the same thing, all right, so let's see, next one is this, so I just keep going until I get to the last here. Let's see. All right, so right now we have four, eight, and then at the last one, what we're going to do is we're going to have zero, zero, twelve. Now, that takes care of our vertices on this wireframe that we're going to do, but now we're going to need faces. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say F, and then we're going to take the first four vertices here, and so you do these each by the number that of the uh, vertex order that you have here. So right here you have four. One, two, three, four. And so those first four vertices right there that I've numbered on this face are going to be our first face. It's going to represent the face of our model. And then F, what we're going to do next is we're going to take the faces that are going, uh, the face is going to form from vertices one, two, and then we're going to take six, five, and that'll be our front. And then we're going to do F, two, three, seven, six. We'll do the same thing where we have three, four, eight, seven. Now, the, wo the order is going to change here in a moment because now we have to take the last vertex in that square on the bottom, which is going to be four, and then we're going to put it back to one. And then the next one is going to be our, let's see, I'm trying to remember how I did this order here. 4, 1, 5 is going to be the next one up. And the reason why I kind of debated there for a moment was because uh, if you don't get them in the right order, they'll actually twist. So now we have those up. And then the last thing that we're going to do is that we're going to do the triangles at the top of the obelisk, F. And this is going to be 5, 6, 9, F, 6, 7, 9, keep going with that, 6, 
seven, eight, nine. And then there's going to be one more. That one will be eight, five, and now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to save this. So control S, and I'm just gonna put this on my desktop here. Now, we're going to call this obelisk, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put dot OBJ. Now, I'm gonna save this, then we have this where it shows up on the notepad, but when we do this, when we get our obelisk.obj right here, what we can do is double click on it, and then look at this. You'll notice that we have a perfectly formed obelisk. There are no twists in the vertices or anything like that. We can do some really cool things here just by using Notepad. Now, again, why do I show you this? Because this gives you kind of an idea that you can actually model in a variety of formats. It's not just your regular 3D programs, but you can do it in uh, programs such as Notepad. So you can program it out. AI can make it. A whole bunch of cool stuff. Now, what's my point with this? Well, my point is, yes, you can do that. Do I recommend this? Not really. I really like to go into a 3D modeling program and do it that way. I go into Blender, that's my program of choice. You may use 3D Studio, Maya, Rhino. Um, you may go into ZBrush and do like a bunch of cool sculpting. There's a whole bunch of stuff, but it's a really cool way to just see another perspective of how you can do this. So, you know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, again, you know, the 3D modeling programs are the easiest way but this is another way that you can do this. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you uh, that you like, subscribe, uh, leave comments on this. Let me know what you think. And thank you for watching, guys.